Hello, welcome back to another video where I got another book of my top 10 most wanted book for 2017 Dracula Lives Issue 3 uh, This is Thursday, I'm not sure when this video is going to be loaded but yesterday um, on my live chat on Wednesday night I did an unboxing of this random act of kindness and uh, Cougar Comics, Mike from New York sent me this very nice copy thank you Mike as you can see it has some spine ding uh, at the time I thought it's like you know 8.5 ish and then um, upon closer inspection after the live chat I agree with Mike he think it's about an 8.0 what's cool about this book is Mike bought this off the rack so this is the original owner Mike and he was kind enough to send me his copy that he bought off the rack. How cool is that? Okay, so that's a beautiful uh, mid to high grade copy, mid grade, 8.0. .0. The thing is, I bought a copy on Monday and then I paid for it uh, right away. I didn't think it's going to be here until this weekend, but it arrived today. Let me show you my copy that I bought. Check this out. Check out this gorgeous spine. Check this out. Yeah, Mike book the probably the worst flaw on the corner is this little ding right here. But other than that, not bad, right? But look at this one. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. And I paid roughly I think 16 for this book. Gorgeous and look at the white interior. Okay, gorgeous. And for those that want to see the interior, stick around. Okay, here's my copy. Look at how amazingly white this one is. So another great buy for me, another great bargain. 16 bucks shipping included who's gonna complain right on this let's take a look inside so for those that want to stick around and see the inside here we go this book has an awesome piece of work right here by Wolfman Oshima and Sid Shore just look at the quality of inking by Sid Shore on this one Sid Shore can really, really ink, okay? I am a big fan of Sid Shore's inking on many people. The only penciler that I think Sid Shore had a lot of problem with is Gene Colon. And for those that uh, collect Daredevil Silver Age, you will see uh, Sid Shore work on Gene Colon. Just look at how tight the inking is here. Look at this. Beautiful. What do you think, huh? Pretty cool, right? This classic, classic Bushima, okay? Because you can look at the facial drawing. And that's the end. I don't 
believe I have ever shown the interior of this book before so you know, let me flip it through the quicks and then you have some uh, I believe this is a reprint of a golden age horror check out the ads the in-house ad for the zombies great stuff you know for those that collect magazine it's a lot of fun to read through these articles and interviews don't skip them fun read and then you have this piece of uh, story from Roy Thomas and Alan Weiss there's another story that I have that Alan Weiss worked with Neil Adams that I need to show one of these days in another uh, magazine that I thought looked pretty cool but just look at the quality of this this is great stuff That's great right here. And I'm not very familiar with Alan Weiss at all. Um, but one thing for sure is like, you know, when he draw characters, he's from the few uh, magazines I have that uh, showcase his work, he tend to draw very lean, tall characters, okay? Uh, I'm sure when I get around to show the other magazine that he did the work, you will see the similarity in that he draw very tall, lean characters. I think the story that I am thinking about as far as his collaboration with uh, Neil Adams was uh, Solomon Kane. Somehow that's stuck to my mind. Okay, and that's the end of the video. Check this out. Satana, the devil's daughter. See her dramatic debut. So is this the first time Satana is being advertised? It's in, you know, how Wolverine was first advertised in, um, I think, uh, Marvel premiere. Instead of uh, in any other places. Who knows, I'm not familiar with the Satana first appearances, but maybe this is the first advertise for those that are not familiar with when she was introduced. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.